Over the last few weeks, Andy has been making these seats and they're a lot wider than they used to be. Obviously, I need to see how comfy they are. And this is what I want my bum to feel like when I sit down. Now I know Uma's motto is don't buy a couch, but I want to build a couch that I can take around the world. If you cast your mind back to just over a year ago, I made these seat cushions and they're fine and they would last a couple of years, but they're not perfect and they no longer fit because the bunks are wider. We are Andy, Melissa, Jack and Oliver. We've spent the last few years preparing to head off sailing to every corner of the world. A few years ago, we bought this huge steel yacht as a project. But when Ollie came along, we needed a bigger boat with more cabins. So now we're working on both boats. Getting Ocean Melody ready to go. Getting Steel Melody ready to launch so that we can sell her. To put some much needed funds back in the kitty for when we set sail. I'm really excited to embark on this project, but I'm a bit worried. Last time was the first time I made cushions and they were okay. But this time I want them to be professional looking. <laughs> I've got piping, which I've never done before. I'm doing seamed corners and the foam is a lot thicker. And I'm going to use a silk wrap to put the foam inside the cushions. First thing I need to do is cut my fabric and use my templates that Andy's previously made. I need to make piping to go around the edges. I need to sew in my zip, sew all the strips around the edge and then put it all together. Craft mat is my favourite kind of mat. I have these left over from another project, so technically it means what I'm doing today is completely free. Reupholstering the boat is free. That's how it works in my head. That's my bottom piece cut out. Now for the top and the sides. A bit more math required now. So this is hurting my head. I want to try and mark everything out and then cut it. I don't know whether that's too ambitious. I need eight inches, allowing half an inch either side seam allowance along here. And then I need more for my zip, nine inches, because I need an extra half an inch either side of the zip. And the zip needs to be at the back. Finally, I've got all my pieces cut. I've cut this two inch strip of fabric, which I'm gonna sew this cord into to make piping to go around the edge of the cushion. The piping cord is probably the bit that I'm most apprehensive about. I've never put piping on anything. I'm not 100% sure how to do it, but I'll be watching some YouTube videos along the way to work it out. The piping cord needs to go all the way round the seat cushion, which is quite a large area. So I haven't been able to cut one long strip of fabric. So I'm just trying to work out how to join it as neatly as possible. And I've watched a few videos and I think I know how. That now gives me one really long piece of fabric strip that I can sew the cord into. One of the biggest challenges I'm actually gonna have is the sewing machine. I'm using my friend's um, sewing machine. I've also got mine here, but neither of which are heavy duty. I am desperately trying to save for a fail, right? <laughs> it's a dream about them in my sleep. <laughs> 
one day we'll have a heavy duty sewing machine. We're definitely going to need to get one for when we actually do the canvas work for the cockpit enclosure because these machines just won't be man enough to go through the canvas fabric. That's all my piping done and I'm really pleased with it. It looks great. I've just got to sew it into the top piece. Before I do that, I need to sew in my side panels together if Ollie lets me. Are you going to let me? What do you think? Hey. What do we reckon, Ollie? <coughs> yeah, he said yes. I need to stitch these three side pieces together, the side panels. Then I need to cut this one in half and sew in the zip. I've cut my um, bigger side panel, the back panel, into two pieces so I can sew the zip in um, now. So I just need to pin that into place. So I want the zip to almost be hidden. I don't know if you can see, I'm sewing that in there. That's my zip done. It's a big zip off a tent. Well, it's a new zip, but it's designed for tents. So it's plastic, so it doesn't corrode. Anybody else absolutely love that sound. It just reminds me of camping as a kid, waking up on a dewy morning and opening the tent zip to see what's outside. Right, now for the nerve wracking bit. I need to sew my piping to my top piece of fabric and it's got to sew it all the way round and then join it at the back. Is anyone else a bit of a lazy sewer? I can never be asked to pin the whole way round. I'm confident that my seams are half an inch. I just pin the first couple of bits and then move the pins along as I go. I do when I'm like joining big panels of fabric together, but to sew the piping on, I'm just going to wing it. So that's my piped corners done and I'm really pleased with how it looks. Um, I've gone all the way around and joined it at the back. Now I need to sew the side panels onto the bottom piece and then join the two together. I have a request. Anyone out there that sews 
cockpit enclosures or cam does any sort of canvas work for a living and fancies taking me under their wing for a day or two to give me some pointers before I actually do the exterior fabric work. I would love to come and join you and help you with some of your projects and learn off the back of you. Somewhere in the UK though, please. Also, while we're talking about the exterior fabric work for Ocean Melody, can anyone recommend anything other than Sambrella that doesn't cost a fortune? We currently are a little bit broke <laughs> um, and we can't justify the Sambrella for the exterior fabric work. Now, I know a lot of you say, just wait until you can. We need protection from the sun and we need to protect our sails from the sun. So any recommendations, please drop them in the comments below. While Ollie was napping, I quickly came in here and I've sewn the side piece on to my top piece of fabric. Probably the main reason I didn't film it is because there was lots of swearing. I had to go through five layers of fabric where the piping was. It wasn't very easy, but it's on. Now I just need to pin and sew my bottom panel on and then that's this cushion done. And then I've just got another one to do, and another one, and another one, and another one. But I won't show you all that. But for now, I'm just gonna get on with pinning the bottom of this and sewing it on. This process has certainly made a lot longer <laughs> by having a baby. It wasn't all that long ago working on Still Melody where I could do so much and now I can't do a lot. Well, I can do a lot, but it just takes me a lot longer. And it's hard not to feel useless in the grand scheme of things, trying to get this boat ready to leave very, very, very soon. But we'll get there. And I have to remember that they're only little for not very long and to savour the moment to not wish it away so I could do boat jobs because there's all the time in the world to do boat jobs. I've made one cover, but now I guess I need to make another one, a bit like this. Well, that was a lot easier. I'm really pleased with how the cushion covers are looking, but now I've got to cut the foam to fit inside the cushions and wrestle the foam in. But I have got some silk wrap that I bought to wrap the foam around and I'm hoping that I can suck all the air out and put them in nicely. Fingers crossed they fit because the foam does need to be compressed quite a lot so it's quite firm, but I might have to take a layer off, but you'll see in a minute.
Just realizing I'm an idiot and I've done it the wrong way around. I need the hoover on this side because this is the side that the zipper is. So I've got to be able to leave the hoover on while I put the cushion on. So hopefully I can do it again. That's it, that's the two bottom cushions done and I'm really pleased with how they look. So I just need to take them to the boat now and see if they fit and then make templates to make the seat backs. So I took those big cushions to the boat and I was very demoralized over the last few days because I made them too thick, which meant that I had to unpick the whole bottom of this, reduce it by an inch and cut the foam down to make it fit. I didn't film because I was very annoyed. <laughs> so what's next? I need to make two smaller cushions for the U-berth side, just like these.
There you go, one cushion. One cushion back to add to the collection. So I just need another one and then that's all the cushions made. I'm really pleased with how they're looking. Um, this second one, I haven't pulled the buttons as tight because um, I do need to buy new buttons. They're not great. Um, I need better ones that I can cover um, So because they keep popping off every time I try and pull them tight. So this side I haven't done so tight, but it's something that I can come back to. I'm eager to get them on the boat tomorrow morning. Just keep everything crossed that they fit. <laughs> I've just arrived at the marina with the cushions. Thankfully it's high tide, so it won't be too hard to get them down the slip. But I'm sat here just waiting for Andy, Jack and Ollie to come round. I can't believe how nervous I am about these cushions fitting. They have taken so much energy and effort to do around Ollie. I've been working mostly in the middle of the night while Ollie's been sleeping. So I think that I definitely deserve a sell right for Christmas, Andy. Maybe even Valentine's. I, I'm just, I just really hope they fit because I am done with these cushions. I've got loads of other sewing projects that I'm looking forward to, but I just want to put these on and just be like, yeah, they're done. And it means that we can then go back to the boat. Me, Ollie and Jack can go to the boat and start working again in different rooms because um, the boys can be in the saloon with comfy seats and I can be working in the aft cabin. So it's just, it will make a massive difference. I'm so relieved I could cry. They actually fit and they're ridiculously comfy. I am so pleased with how they look. So there you go. I have made the cushions. I am finished. I am done. And I got to not be in an episode at all for once, which is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of Melissa for this job. It's absolutely incredible. Just goes to show the kind of quality work that Melissa can turn out when I don't get involved. <laughs> Yeah, so next week come back to see Andy working his little butt off on Steel Melody. Thanks as always very much to our patrons and supporters, anybody that's donated through Coffee or Patreon or PayPal or anything like that. So that's it for this week and we'll see you next week. Thank you as always. Bye bye. 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 Wave bye bye Ollie. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. bye.